Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to work on the last part of Unit 13 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. And this part is aimed to check a students' progress or to check a students' understanding of the whole lesson that they studied through the unit. So this unit is covering ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion. So to show ratio, for example, if we have a diagram, a simple diagram like the one here, if we have this, and this diagram has three parts. If I shade one part blue and the other two parts are white, so the ratio of blue to white, we say blue to white, we use the colon, and then white. Blue to white is one, two, two. The ratio of blue to white is one, two, two. If we say the ratio of white to blue, let me write, white to blue, it is two to one. So we have to keep in mind the order of the ratio. When we first say blue, we have to write the number for blue first. And we first say white, we have to write the number for white first. So in this diagram, we have three equal parts. When we are talking about the ratio, we compare part with the part. But when we are talking about the proportion, we are comparing part to the whole. For example, what proportion of the whole is, or what proportion of the whole diagram is blue? It is one third. Or if you say, what proportion of the whole diagram is white? It is two thirds. So when we are talking about the proportion, we are comparing part to the whole. But when we are talking about the ratio, we are comparing part with the part. So for example, for this diagram that we have, we can say for every, to show the ratio, we can say for every one blue, there are two whites. Or we can say for every two white, there is one blue. But when we are talking about the proportion, we can say one in every three parts is blue. Or for the white, two in every three parts is white. This is how we can talk about ratio and proportion. Let's now move to question one of this part. In question one, it says, Sue is a decorator. She mixes paint to make new colors. So she uses one can of blue paint and two cans of yellow paint to make green paint. And at the same time, let me scroll down. And at the same time, she uses three cans of red paint and four cans of blue paint to make purple paint. Now it is asking us to write whether each statement is true or false. And it is asking us to correct the statements which are false. So the first statement, which is statement A, the ratio of yellow to blue and green paint is one to two. This one is false. So I will write false here. It is false because we have two yellow and one blue. Let me show it again. So over here, we have three cans of the colors. We have three cans of the paints in which two are yellow and one is blue. So the ratio for this green color, so the ratio for the green color will be two to one. Two to one. I said we have to keep in mind the order of the ratio. If it says yellow to blue, we have to first write yellow, then blue. We cannot write yellow to blue, one to two. If we say blue to yellow, we can write one to two. But in this case that we have in part A, two to one is the correct answer. Well, in part B, it says the proportion of red and the purple color is four seventh. The proportion of red and purple color is four seventh. This is also false. So let me write false here. It is false because when we are talking about the proportion, we compare part to whole. So the number of cans which are red is three. We can write three seven. Means out of seven cans, three of them are red. Well, in part C, it says two thirds of green paint is yellow. This is true. This is true because we have three cans and out of three, two of them are yellow. Well, 
In part D of this question, it says, three in every four parts of purple paint is red. Three in every four. This one is also false. Let me write. False here. Why it's false? Because not three in every four. It is three in every seven. Three in every, we consider the whole. So the whole number of cans here is seven. So we can write three in every seven parts of purple paint is red. Not three in every four. Well, in part E, it says one third of green paint is blue. One third of green paint is blue. This is also correct. Why? Because out of three canes, one of them is blue. So I can write this one is okay. This one is true. Well, we are done with question one. Let me scroll down to move to question two. Well, in question two, it says, Marcus says, my diagram shows one out of every two shapes is a triangle. One out of every two shapes is a triangle. Explain why Marcus might think he is correct. What should Marcus have written? Marcus is not correct. Marcus thinks that he has to say one out of two, which are the circles. Actually, when he says one out of, he is talking about the proportion. So he has to say one out of every three. One out of every three. One out of every three. So Marcus can write one out of every three, one out of every three shapes is triangle, is a triangle. One out of every three shapes is a triangle. This is what Marcus could write correctly. He is not correct because he says one out of every two, which is not correct in this case. Why? Because he has to compare part to the whole. One out of every two or one out of every three means he's talking about the proportion. When we are talking about the proportion, we are not comparing part to part. We are comparing part to whole. Part to whole. This is all about our today's lesson. So I hope it helps you learn how to write or how to understand ratio and proportion. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel and like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates. And also if you're a teacher, share it with your students as well. Have a nice time and thank you so much.